well, at least severe concern. That should be your reaction if your ship has developed a permanent list and you eliminated the possibility of any extra weight. The only other possibility is an angle of lull. Angle of lull shines like a bright red warning sign indicating serious stability issues. You need to track down this cause because the next warning that you get may be your ship capsizing. What is an angle of lull? Now stick with me for a minute because we have to dive a little bit into stability theory. Basic stability theory imagines a point called the metacenter. Uh, that's point M on this little figure here. And that is stability of the ship, represented as a physical distance, okay? Now, the important thing that we need to remember is that the point G, the ship's center of gravity, must always be vertically below the metacenter. So G must always be below M. That's important. With an angle of lull, though, when the ship is upright, the point G is actually above point M. Bad, 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 bad. Because the end result is that within a small range of initial heel angles, the ship is unstable. Now, how can you have your ship be unstable for just a small range of heel angles? Well, if you look at it on the uh, stability curve, now this is another way of, that we look at stability, and the amount of stability that your ship has changes depending on its heel angle. Uh, it pushes back stronger when it heels over further. That's important. Now, we express this as what we call a writing arm curve, your GZ curve. Key fact here, the GZ curve should always be above zero. If it's below zero, that means the ship is unstable. So what we're seeing here is with an angle of lull, initially it is below zero. That means initially your ship is unstable, but as it starts to heel over, uh, the point M shifts, it goes up a little bit higher, your ship starts to pick up more stability as it heels over, and very quickly it starts going positive. Your writing arms go positive again. That initial unstable zone, that's your angle of lull. Now I don't want everyone to think that they have an angle of lull just because it sounds scary. So here are some classic signs that you have an angle of lull. Number one is if you're in calm seas, your vessel is rolling about, and that rolling never seems to really stop. Uh, it's always going at some minimum level, even in glass calm seas. Uh, what that is, is the angle of lull is this exclusion angle, uh, so the ship can never be resting at zero heel, and so with the angle of lull, it's actually flip-flopping, and so that's why it always seems like your ship is constantly rolling. What it's actually doing is flippy flopping on its angle of lull. The other key thing that you can look at is when you're sitting in port in glass calm water, uh, your ship may be having a list, yes, but you'll notice that that list doesn't stay on one side. The ship lists both to port and to starboard. Now here's a key thing. Your mooring situation may actually mask this problem. Uh, if you have an angle of lull, the mooring lines can easily create enough healing force to ensure that the vessel always heals to one side, to the side that's being pulled towards with the mooring lines. The third thing that you might check, and I'd be cautious about checking that, is that you may have already suspected that you had a list instead of an angle of lull. Maybe you already tried adding counterweights to uh, correct that heel angle. That it actually takes more weight or less weight than you had initially planned to correct that list angle. Uh, that could be a symptom of an angle of lull, but make sure you have some of those other symptoms as well. You can also check for angle of lull by checking for the most common problem. Normally, free surface moment is going to be the biggest cause for an angle of lull. So you can check your vessel, survey it to see if there's anything that's changed that has recently increased your free surface moment. And so we're going to be focusing on your tanks. You're checking for leaky tanks, for full bilges, for full voids that shouldn't have any liquid in them at all. Uh, maybe a cargo hold got filled up. Uh, all you're looking for is a surface, a surface of liquid that's stretching the entire length and width of your cargo hold. All of these things will drastically increase your free surface moment, and those could be the cause and the symptom of your angle of lull. Right, you know you have a problem. 
how do we fix the angle of lull? The main thing that you have to do is address the underlying stability issues first. Once you do that, the angle of lull will resolve itself. Now, the most likely culprit for stability issues is uh, the free surface moment, like I said before. And so you want to check for leaking tanks and cross connects especially. Normally your cross connects should be closed. So check for any signs that your cross connects might be needing repair or need new valve gaskets, that sort of thing. And if nothing else is proving reasonable, call a naval architect. This is if you can't find the source of your angle of lull, uh, if your problem grew slowly over time, uh, all of these situations are more complex and then you're going to probably need a stability test and a naval architect to really look over all the details. The one thing you should not do is ignore this because an angle of lull is actually a blessing. It provides a clear warning about the underlying stability problems with your vessel. Not all ships show that warning before bad things happen. So if you have an angle of lull, take advantage of that warning. Speak with a naval architect, search for the causes yourself, and address the stability issues to get your vessel floating straight and tall. Yes, we have reached the part of the show where I ask for tips. So please hand me your tips. In this case, I just need you to click that little subscribe button. Subscribe.